Right, so I uh, I did a video on uh, how artists' names and mediums affected when you prompt them. So this is uh, hopefully not too long a vid on um, uh, how the Lauras do the same job. So I assume you know what a Laura is and you know how to use Comfy UI a certain amount. So I did this with a very basic text to image setup, nothing special whatsoever. It's, I, I was especially careful that it was nothing special. It? And I used two prompts. Uh, the one on the left it has a person. The one on the right is just a background. And the prompt is arranged for a particular reason. So we've got a person with enough description to bring her into shot decently rather than make it just face. And then a, a, a background that's described in about the same number of words and, and, and no mention of style of the image. So the style is entirely being done by the Lauras. So we can see what the Lauras actually do. It's not automatically clear to me anyway. And the other one is, is just a background. So it's the same prompt, but it, it's without any any people in it so so it gives you an idea of how good the various lauras are at doing backgrounds okay so no more ado we'll we'll head off through the laws and i'm sorry if uh, i've not done your favorite laura but there are so many of them on sewer that uh, that you you couldn't do them all <laughs> so i've just done the ones that interest me and i'm interested in painting and illustration so they're the ones I've done because that's my interest. So this is Willem van Elst, who was Dutch, born in Delft, um, 1645-ish, he was born, and so forth. Uh, rather a nice Laura, I think. It has a good strong feel and got a good strong feel of, of the period as well. So I, I quite like this one. You can find all these Lauras. If you just search for the artist, you'll find the Lauras. So we have Chardin, Jean-Baptiste Chardin who did mostly still lives and stuff. This isn't like Shano. I mean, it's a nice Laura, but uh, it's not It's not like Shano. I, I don't know. Well, he's 1723. He did a lot of pastels and he did a lot of very beautiful still lives. But nonetheless, the um, the results put through Comfy has rather a nice feel. William Merritt Chase is an American uh, impressionist, sort of victorian -y sort of time. I can't do the histories of all of these. I, I vaguely know who they are and when they are. So he's a contemporary of uh, John Singer Sargent, etc and again this is quite a nice Laura I quite like the painted feel quite a good painted feel remember I'm not prompting for oil painting or brush strokes or anything like that this is just just the Laura doing the work Frederick Layton Lord Frederick Layton who was who was a Lord for all of a day before he died he got knighted and he died the same day so he was a he was a, a high Victorian painter who did and I, I quite like the Laura it's obviously been made with not terribly good images that's where you see the dotty sort of frying effect, which is, means it's been made with quite a lot of quite poor images. But I like the feel of it, so you could team it with a, a Laura with better finish and maybe uh, get something good out of it. Lovis Corinth, who was a... Oh, he, oh God, I can't remember who he is. He was born in 1858, and he was a sort of impressionist. He studied in Paris and Munich, and I think my knowledge of him is running out at that point but again a nice Laura uh, I know his paintings this looks nothing like them but it makes <laughs> it's quite a nice Laura and and this is the story of the Laura's generally I'm finding is that you, you wouldn't recognize the painter from it Peter Paul Rubens this is a little bit more recognizable we've got a good period and we've got that sort of expansive style and it's obviously a little bit like his wonderful portrait of his wife so I think rather good Laura I, I rather like it it's but quite a useful Laura and and more you know closer to what the artist did than most of them. John Singer Sargent, quite a nice Laura, a very nice light feel to it. It's not quite a painting, but it's on the way with a bit of work you could, um, prompting, you could make it more painterly. And I was surprised it did the um, background relatively well as well. Titian, so we're off in the, in, in the Renaissance. I'll let you look up who Titian is if you don't know who Titian is. A famous Renaissance painter and a very, very good one as well. Again, this has been made with quite poor images. So you can see this, the slight dotty fryingness of it. But it, it's quite it's quite close to the feel of Titian. So I think I think it gets marks for that. Lawrence Arama Tadema is an Orientalist and a Victorian painter. Sort of leans towards the pre-Raffi. Had two painting daughters. I don't think you need to know that really. But this is, but this is quite good for his 
style. This is very much his style. Again, the images it's been uh, that have been used to make the Laura uh, obviously weren't great, but I like the feel of the Laura. Here we are, Tamara Lempicka, the painting duchess, 20s style, very famous and very stylized and only did people. So you get a person in the background one as well because all of the images that were put into the Laura will have had people in it. So you'll always get people, but an interesting style and quite an interesting one to mix with other Lauras. John William Waterhouse, we're in Victorian times again in the pre raf land. Another Orientalist, quite similar to, uh, I, I, I'm not sure I should, uh, quite a nice Laura. I, you know, a, a, a good Laura. Again, been made with slightly better images than the, than the last one. N.C. Wyeth, an American painter, sort of impressionist style, time singer sergeant, roughly. Nice painter. This looks nothing like N.C. Wyeth, not, not even vaguely like N.C. Wyeth, but, uh, but I quite like the style. Konstantin Korovin, again, nothing like the painter at all, uh, but a nice painterly style. I quite like this one. I can see this being quite a useful Laura to, to stick into things, to give them a, a more of a drawn and painted, to take away that uh, slick AI generated feel, which I'm not terribly keen on. William McTaggart, Scottish Impressionist. God, what can I know about William McTaggart? Not a great deal. Kyle McTyre, something like that he was born. Well, anyway, he was a crofter's son. There we go, I do know something about him. And he, he done good. Uh, this isn't like how he paints at all, <laughs> but, but it's a very nice Laura. Rembrandt, there's a little bit of Rembrandt in here, and I was surprised Rembrandt actually actually managed to do the uh, background image tolerably well. And remember, I'm not I'm not prompting for oil paintings or anything like that. So so uh, I think Re the Rembrandt Laura, you know, you know, it, which is vast Laura, it's 800 megabytes or something. But uh, so it probably has has depths I haven't discovered. This is some guy from Italy. I've never heard of him before. Oh no, yeah, oh, it's Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, but this is a Laura made from his drawing, which I have found very interesting, Laura. It does some quite different things and mixes very well with other Lauras. I, 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 I like this Laura a great deal and use it a lot. This one is better than I expected. It's uh, Aubrey Beardsley. Died very young, and, uh, rather a sad story, and did a lot of graphic illustrations, but rather a nice Laura. Um, it's obviously not been with, made with great images, but it has quite a lot of effect. I could see it being quite useful in a mix. This is Ivan Bilibin, and the, the lore is not great. I've, Ivan Bilibin is a, a sort of fairy tale illustrator from Russia, about the same time as Arthur Rackham, I would guess. Uh, and he did rather beautiful, framed, intricate, uh, designed illustrations. And this is quite like them. It's definitely got a feel of them, but they're but they're not as elegant. This isn't as elegant as he does. Maybe, maybe the Laura with proper prompting could do, um, uh, and from using image to image might be quite a useful Laura. Oh, now we're into illustration. Rolf Armstrong, who I know very little about. I'm assuming he's... Uh, a sci-fi illustrator. I'm, not, I'm probably saying that he might be alive or something. I tried to avoid putting any live artists in here because I'm a little bit dubious about using living artists' work to in this way. I don't know. That the, the, there are some moral issues there, so I, I've tended not to put any in. But uh, it's a nice aura. It has a, a 50s comic strip feel, pulp novels and so on, uh, and a very strong Laura. Uh, obviously, all of the images had figures because, you see, we get a... We get a figure in uh, the background uh, prompt as well. Jesse Wilcox Smith is again a uh, children's book illustrator. You always get children and uh, you never get an adult image, but uh, a nice feel for the Laura. I'm not quite sure what you'd use it for. I, I won't, probably won't keep it. It's quite a nice Laura. If you were doing children's book illustrations, it, it could add a certain feel, couldn't it? Now, this is a monster, JC Landecker, who was famous for his shirt, arrow shirt adverts. I think he lived in New York. I don't know. I think he was born in Germany and lived in New York that he was a very famous illustrator uh, sort of 1916, 1920. It's a monstrously strong style. If you put this lore in, you certainly won't ignore it. The same with this one, Alphonse Moucha. Everyone knows Alphonse Moucha. Uh, again, all the images that were put in were obviously had people in, so the background does as well. And it it oh it takes over anything you put in. It will turn. It will turn. You know. 
anything into uh, Alphonse Moucher, even a still life with a couple of oranges and a cup of tea, who would turn that into a lady. <laughs> uh, another American painter uh, and illustrator, Maxfield Parrish, who did rather beautiful coloured work, and this is very like him. I, I didn't think this flora would be good, but it's it's rather good. I've not tried it out very much, but from this uh, little test, uh, 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 a very nice Laura. Again, there's nearly always figures, so there's a figure in there. But it, it's very close to his style. I think very beautiful. Will Eisner, famous comic strip artist. He did other stuff as well. I do know more stuff about him, but it's not a... And he did The Spirit, which was a great cartoon. If you look up The Spirit, Will Eisner, you'll see some wonderful comic strip drawings. Uh, which don't look anything like this. Not even this doesn't look like Will Eisner. <laughs> Will Eisner is all it's all brush lines and uh, uh, it, it, this isn't Will Eisner. This is uh, Mobius or Jean Giraud. Very nice. Uh, he only died recently. Died in 2012, I think. One of the um, artists who was first in Metal Metal Hill in France and uh, really a really great Laura. Really really lovely. Could do all sorts of things with this. This is uh, a Laura made from just general illustration from uh, the fifth. 50s, 40s and 50s but but rather nice i think it it's whoever picked the images they've done done a good job and i should say a thank you to all the people who collect these and make these lauras and put them up there for nothing it's an amazing resource this is a comic strip one called comic styler which i think is rather good there's quite a lot of comic ones a lot of them are very bad <laughs> but this is a good one it's called comic styler if you search for that you'll find the laura uh this is doesn't make these aren't very nice images but it's an interesting laura and i wonder how it might mix in with other lauras it's very brutal and and has a strange look to it but i think uh, that's one i shall experiment with i think that's quite an interesting laura I thought this is rather sweet, Laura. You get a lot of ones that uh, that do inky outlines and and then a, a watercolour fill, but this one does it rather well. The outlines are all very graceful, and the fill has a nice watercolour feel without too much frying. It's called Aqua Ink, and rather sweet, Laura. I really like it. This is one of the. There's quite a few Droixes. This is Droix six. They're all quite good. Uh, they're a bit standard. Uh, what you get if you just prompt for illustration. To, uh, they're well made, well made, good Lauras. Ink Punk, for me, is the king of the comic strip Lauras. Uh, it's just better than the others. Great line work. The line work changes colour and weight as it goes into the distance. What's not to like? Great figures, very often good hands. Fab is my estimation. Line Annie Redmond, which is a, a, a it, it's an anime one, but it's not so anime that, you know, it's all big eyes and zero nose. So it's quite a useful one. Again, uh, it did the background rather beautifully. Uh, it didn't do the other one as nicely, but uh, but a pretty good Laura. The, the, uh, I'm not a fan of anime, but uh, but this one I like. This is uh, Envy Shadow Minute, one of the many Envy Lauras, which are all very nice. There are lots of very nice ones, most of them architectural, but uh, but this one uh, is a very nice Laura. Not great for people, but for mood and to simplify, a uh, very nice Laura. I could see lots of uses for this one. And uh, the images are always beautifully chosen. Vector Cartoons, which is more cartoony and ah, a cracking Laura. Very nice. And that's it for this section. Uh, next I'm going to do some mixes between different Lauras so we can see how they mix together. Right, so here's our mixes. I haven't I haven't really, when you think of the number of possible variations, uh, I've only done a few, just to give you an idea, really. This is Lord Layton and the uh, Ink Punk comic strip styler. Oh, that's mixed together rather nicely. Quite a good. Hands are quite good. There's one funky hand, but that's pretty good. This is Lord Layton with the Shadow Min. Um, again, a really nice feel. I can, I can see using this, Laura. It's, it's very nice. This is Lord Layton and Sergeant, which uh, I was expecting them to not mix together very well, but they mix together rather well. It's that. Victorian romantic uh, feeling but uh, but a nice version of it and, and a nice soft feel. It is two very decorative ones mixed together. Lempica and Musha. Well what do you expect? It's pretty stylized, but it's not yeah, it, they've actually mixed together better than I expected. I, ex I expected the clash of the titans, but they uh, they seem to get on quite well together. This is Leon Decker and Link Punk again. Uh, a very nice feel. I can see um, a few experiments mixing these two together. You get some quite nice stuff. Leon Decker and Leighton. Again, Leighton seems to mix rather well. Yeah. It had Leighton, uh, every one I added Leighton to uh, gained a little bit of class and uh, uh, took over the, uh, you know, there's an excessive slickness with Leyendecker. And uh, uh, Leighton just seems to take the edge off it, which I, I, I think that's quite a nice film. This is Sid Mead. Uh, Sid Mead as a famous designer, film designer and 
design of everything really and I've mixed him with the uh, strange Dutch still life play painter which is quite good yeah yeah I, 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 I can see them living together though they come from uh, come from a, an entirely different universe and uh, this is Mobius mixed with a living uh, illustrator I don't too as I said I, I haven't done many there are lots of Laura's of living illustrators and I, I have my doubts about using them but uh, this one I couldn't resist mixing Mo Mobius with Jean Baptiste Mong who should look up who's a wonderful illustrator beautiful 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 stuff but uh, he mixes rather well with Mobius into a into a sort of uh, uh, fantastic uh, dreamy landscape which I rather like. Here we have John Singer Sergeant and Leon Decker. I'm sure who won? I think we call it a I think Leon Decker won. Again, Sergeant seems to have softened Leon Decker and made it a, 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 made it nicer to my eye. And I mean here we hit a problem with Laura's. So this is uh, as the previous one is Sergeant and Leon Decker with two Laura's. This is this is Sergeant and Leon Decker and I've just prompted Leon Decker. So the trouble with the Leon Decker Laura is that the name Leon Decker is in the trigger word. So it's quite hard to work out what's the Laura and what's the trigger word. And I think uh, when that is done, at least 30 or 40 percent of the effect is from the trigger word, uh, not from the Laura. So that explains the Alphonse Moucher and the Landecker Laura being so very strong. You're getting sort of a double whammy. I wish they wouldn't do it because it, it makes the uh, Laura difficult to use. And here's the same again, Sergeant, but just I just prompted the Moucher. There's no Laura. So again, the Alphonse Moucher the name is in the trigger word Alphonse Moucher so uh, it's very hard to work out what's doing what and with that I think that's it for um, for my review of Laura's I'm sorry if I didn't do your favourite Laura but I I hope my sort of stagger through <laughs> through the available Laura's is useful to people okay thank you very much